Good morning students. Previously we had studied the second part of this lesson which was really amusing to study. Now today we will take up the final and the third part of the lesson. In this final part the little boy the keeper of curry talks about the learning habits of an elephant as it grows up. What kind of signal and sounds are used to teach him different things some instruction are easily learned by elephant whereas some seem very difficult and the elephants take much time to learn them now let's move to the third part of this story in this third part we will study in few points Curry is a fast learner. He masters all signals and sound he is taught. There is one lesson though that an elephant takes 5 years to learn. Curry is no exception. I am going to read the first paragraph of this third part. An elephant must be taught when to sit down when to walk when to go fast when to go slow you teach him these things as you teach a child if you say dhat and pull him by the ear he will gradually learn to sit down similarly if you say mali and pull his trunk forward he will gradually learn that it is the signal to walk now i am going to explain it an elephant is a very big animal and to keep it as a pet or domestic animal it is very important that it obeys his human master if it were not so the elephant can create much of roar in any human settlement so it is very important that he should be taught to sit walk fast or slow and taught to many other commands all these things are taught to the elephant as taught to a small growing up child in one's house there are also certain specific words used as commands to instruct the elephant to do a specific job dhat is one such word where its master say the word dhat and pulls the elephants down holding one of its big ear this command is used to teach the elephant to sit down when the elephant learns it the animal easily obeys his master and sits down whenever the word dhat is spoken as command to the elephant another such word or command is mali in this command when the master speaks the command mali and pulls the elephant's trunk forward it means that the elephant should now start walking so he was being taught all such commands in order to adopt well with the humans now let's move to the second paragraph kari learned mali after three lessons but it took him three weeks to learn dhat he was not good at sitting down and do you know why an elephant should be taught to sit down because he grows taller and taller than you who take care of him so that when he is Two or three years old, you can only teach his back with the ladder. It is therefore better to teach him to sit down by saying "dhat," so that you can climb upon his back. For who would want to carry a ladder around all the time? Now I am going to explain. To some instruction. curry was very quick to adopt to but other 
took some time. Curry learned the command Mali in three lessons or classes where it was taught to work on the given command. But the command of Dhat was very difficult for him to learn. Where he was to sit down on the ground in a crouched position so that the keeper or his master could get on the back of the animal. When the elephant is small, its height is not that much and one can easily climb the back of an elephant by using a small ladder. But what happens when it grows up, it gains height and it is impossible to get on top of it. And it is also impossible for the master to always carry a ladder with you. To climb up and down and sit down the elephant's back. So it is very important that the young elephant learns dhat command so the master can easily get on its back. As, as reader of this lesson, we are also sympathetic towards curry because though curry was a baby elephant but still his body was a large one at it is very difficult for a large and heavy body animal to sit down and stand up again and again it was not that he did not understand the command thud, but it was rather his inability to carry his heavy body up and down on the ground. Now let's move to the third paragraph. The most difficult thing to teach an elephant is the master call. He generally takes five years to learn it properly. The master call is a strange hissing, howling sound and if a snake and tiger were fighting each other and you have to make that kind of the noise in his ear and do you know what you accept, expect an elephant to do when you give him the master's call. If you are lost in the jungle and there is no way out and everything is black except the stars above, you dare not stay very long anywhere. The only thing to do then is to give the master call and at once the elephant pulls down the trees in front of him with his trunk. This frightens all the animals away. As the tree comes crashing down, monkeys wake up from their sleeps and run from the branch to branch. You can see them in the moonlight. And you can almost see the stacks running in all the direction below. You can hear the growl of the tiger in the distance. Even he is frightened. Then the elephant pulls down the next tree and the next and the next. Soon you will find that he has made a road right through the jungle straight to your house. Now I am going to explain this paragraph. Now we will study about a command to the elephant which is very important for him and his master also. It is this command that creates a special bond between the elephant and its master. Being such a difficult command, the elephant also takes up 5 years to learn it properly. This command is called the master's call. The writer tells us that the master call is a mixture of peculiar sound, a hissing and howling sound. The sound seems as if a snake and a tiger were fighting and creating this sound during their fight with each other. When the elephant's master makes this kind of sound or gives command in the elephant's ear, the big animal quickly obeys the master and works 
according to the will of its master. Suppose, suppose you are with your elephant in a jungle and lost your way back home. Everything in the jungle is green, trees blocking one's path back home. Everything is dark and gloomy. The only thing visible is the sky above you and stars twinkling in the sky. Nobody dares to stay in such a frightful situation anymore. Under such a condition, the master on the back of the elephant only needs to give the master's command in the ears of the elephant and it quickly understands what to do each and every obstacle is torn down the elephant pulls down every tree in front of him with its trunk he is quick to realize that his master is in distress and needs my help hearing the master's command he takes charge of the situation and in the effort to get back to its home or the master's home the elephant starts bringing down the trees in front of him the monkeys and other animal in such trees start running here and there in order to save their lives as one seated on the back of the elephant at the time can see dress deers monkeys running about in all the direction the whole of the jungle comes alive at night there is a big uproar around everything is disturbed even the king of the jungle the tiger is annoyed but is frightened to challenge the elephant at that time because the elephant has only one goal now because it has received the master's call which is to bring his him safely to his home so in order to fulfill the command the elephant keeps uprooting and pushing down trees after trees clearing all other obstacles until it reaches a path straight to his master's home so we see that the master call is one of the most important call which every elephant learn though in a louder period or longer period of time and curry was no exception to it he also learned the command under the guidance of his keeper the boy let's now let's move to the question and answers answer the following questions the enclosure in which curry lived had a thatched roof that lay on thick three stumps examine the illustration of the curry's pavilion on page 8 and say why it was built that way so let's see page number 8 here we can see the answer under a thatched roof which rested on thick tree stump on that it could not fall in when the curry bumped against the poles as he moved about this answer we can write like this 
pavilion was built on a thick tree stem so that would not fall on bumping against the poles next question is did curry enjoy his morning bath in the river give a reason for your answer let's see in the text in this paragraph we can see the answer i used to take him to the river in the morning for his bath he would lie down on the sand bank while i drubbed him with the clean sand of the river for an hour after that he would lie in the water for a long time it means he was enjoying that time this answer we can write like this we can say that curry enjoys his bath as he lay down on the sand bank while the narrator rubbed him with clean sand when narrator rubbed him with water he trumpeted with pleasure let's move to the next question finding good twigs for curry took a long time why so let's move to the text in this paragraph we can see the answer it was not an easy job to get twigs and sampling for curry i had to climb all kinds of tree to get the most delicate and tender twigs as he was very fond of young branches of the banyan tree which grows like a cathedral of leaves and branches i was gathering some one scream i was gathering some so here you can see how much trouble he is taking to get the twigs this answer we can write in our own word it took such a long time to find twigs for curry because if twig is broken curry would not touch it narrator has to climb all all kind of tree to get twigs now let's move to the next question next question is why did curry push his friend into the stream so let's see in the text i looked all over but i could not find him i went near the edge of the water and i saw a black something struggling above its surface then it rose higher and it was the trunk of my elephant i thought he was drowning i was helpless because i could not jump into the water and save the 400 pounds of him since he was much higher than i but i saw his back rise above the water and the moment he caught my eye he began to trumpet and struggle up to the shore then still trumpeting he pushed me now here we can see he pushed me water into the water and as i fell into the stream i saw a baby lying flat on the bottom of the river so curry pushed him into the stream because the boy was lying flat on the bottom of the river curry had tried to save the boy but he had not been successful that's why he push the writer into the water let's move to the next question the fifth question is curry was like a baby 
what are the main point of comparison this answer we have already read yesterday and we can find in second part of the story let's see in second part of the story here we can find the answer curry was like a baby he had to be trained to be good and if you did not tell him when he was naughty he was up to more mischief than ever we can see here the answer this answer we can write in our own word curry had to be trained to be good he did a lot of mischief like a child he played pranks and took away all the fruits kept on the plate so he was like a baby now let's move to the next question Sixth question is curry help himself to all the bananas in the house without any one notice it how did he do it now let's see in the second part of the story this answer we can give in a two parts first for instance one day somebody gave him some bananas to eat very soon he developed a great love for ripe bananas now the next part of the answer we we can find in this paragraph a long black thing very much like a snake suddenly came through the window and disappeared with all the bananas here we can see the answer this answer we can write in our own word curry help himself to all the bananas in the house without anyone noticing it how did he do it curry was a quite a cunning baby elephant once when he tasted ripe bananas he developed a taste for it now very clearly he by making his trunk appear like a black snake took away all the bananas next question is curry learned the commands to sit and to walk what were the instruction for each command now this answer we can find in the third part of the story an elephant must be taught when to sit down when to walk when to go fast and when to go slow you teach him these things as you teach a child if you say dhat and pull him by the ear he will gradually learn to sit down similarly if you may say mali and pull his trunk forward he will gradually learn that it is the signal to walk so curry learned mali after 3 months but it took him 3 weeks to learn dhat so here in this paragraph we can see the answer curry was taught to sit down to walk go go slow etc for sitting down instruction given was dhat and then curry was pulled by the ear for walking instruction given was mali and his trunk was pulled forward now let's move to the next question next question is what is the master call why is it the most important signal for an elephant to learn so let's move to the third part of the story here here we can find the answer the most difficult thing to teach an elephant is the master call he generally takes 5 years to learn it properly the master call is a strange hissing howling sound and 
if a snake and tiger were fighting each other and you have to make that kind of noise in his ear and to do you know uh, what you expect an elephant to do when you give him the master call so now here we can see the answer it's a strange hissing and howling sound Master call is a kind of a strange hissing, howling sound. It is a sound of noise, as if a snake and a tiger are fighting. This call makes elephant pulls down, and trees and take you right to your house. Now here are some extra question. We should solve it. What is the meaning of bringing up curry? Curry learned the commands to sit down or stand up, and walk fast or slow. The word dhat was the command to sit down. The word mali was to command to walk. The next question is, what is the master call in the lesson bringing up curry? The master call is a strange hissing, howling sound, and if a snake and a tiger were fighting each other, it is the most important signal for an elephant because whenever master is in trouble, one master call will bring the elephant near. Now, what is the moral of the story? Bringing up curry. The moral of the story, bringing up curry, is that we should underestimate nature in a way that animals can exceed the doing of a good human being. In simple words, the story depicts the moral that animals too have. the ability of sometimes being more caring and loving than human beings next question is how did curry enjoy his morning bath in the river curry lay for a long time in the river and on the sand and let the author rub his back also he squealed with pleasure when his friend rubbed water down his back now question number 5 how did curry help him to all the bananas in house without anyone noticing it curry stole the bananas from the table in the in the dining room he put his trunk through the window and disappeared with the bananas without anyone noticing it what were the instruction for the command sit and walk his friend pulled curry by his ear and said that to make him sit and he pulled his trunk forward and said mali to make him walk now next question is elephants are proud animal how do we know it from the story now answer we can write like this curry stole bananas from the dining room when he was caught and scolded he realized his mistake his pride was so hurt that he never repeated his mistake again elephants are proud animals and they accept their mistakes and punishment for of for it next question is why is it important to teach an elephant to sit down answer elephant grow taller than their masters 
कीपर कैन रीच हिज बैक ओनली विद द हेल्प ऑफ द लेडर एज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू ऑलवेज कैरी अबाउट अ लेडर एंड एलिफेंट मस्ट बी टॉट टू सिट डाउन in this story we have find the reading and explanation of the chapter and solving the question we should revise the chapter again in short this story is about a 9 year old boy and 5 month old elephant kari both of them grew together The first thing which Curry did was to save a boy. Curry was like a baby and full of mischief. One day he developed the taste of bananas and since then he took all steps to steal the bananas. The narrator was very annoyed so he scolded Curry for his mischief. The narrator took all efforts to teach elephant to walk and to sit down the most difficult and important thing was to teach master call master call is a strange rising sound which can help the master reach home if one is lost in the jungle curry took 5 years to learn it properly so that's all for today have a good day revise this chapter again and again and write all the answers properly in your copy